Uh, April, so often we see runners make a beeline to that tent because they're dehydrated, overcome with heat. Not today. Uh, hypothermia was the widespread problem. It was cold, there was a headwind, it was raining. Not ideal. In fact, some runners told us it's the worst conditions they've run a marathon in. By 2 p.m., the medical tent at the finish line was at 90% capacity. Another was full, and buses were brought in just as shelter. We're seeing mostly cold this year, as you can imagine. So we've got a lot of hypothermic people that are coming in uh, that just need to be warmed up. For the most part, Myler blankets and warm broth did the trick. Runners with more serious cases of hypothermia were monitored and transported if necessary. We haven't had a lot of transport. It's been fairly mild. We really haven't seen some of the major things we've seen in the past years. Water and Gatorade both sides of the road. Most runners say the weather was mainly an inconvenience, but it didn't ruin their experience. I can't feel my paws, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe later. One of my third, uh, worst marathon times ever. So it, it really had an impact for me personally, but the crowd was so, I mean, they're wonderful. And that what is what awaits you as you cross the finish line, a uh, wheelchair just in case you need it. It'll take you right into the medical tent. We're told by Boston EMS that about seven people have been transported to area hospitals. Everyone else just getting those blankets and something warm to drink. Medical tent still open for business at this hour. Live at the finish line, I'm Mary Salatna, WCBB News Center 5.